Hey y'all, my name's Ned. This little guy right here is my dog, Chai. And if you've ever tried to learn anything about data modeling in Microsoft Power BI, you've probably heard that you should be building a star schema. Anywhere you go, it's all you'll read. Build a star schema, build a star schema, build a star schema. But in my opinion, what you might actually want to build is a galaxy schema. And in this video, we're going to be talking about it. So you ready? Well, let's go. So first things first, I am not going to sit here and argue that if your data can fit into a star schema, that's not what you should do. If you can make a star schema work, that's absolutely what you should do. However, and it's a big however, the reality of most businesses is that your data is going to be a little bit more complex than what you can reliably fit into a single star schema. You're going to be asked to combine data from multiple systems, multiple processes, actuals versus budget. And the reality is that the majority of that data can't be squished down into a singular star schema for a singular tabular model. And a Power BI report can't connect to multiple tabular models. They only connect to one. So in order to demonstrate this, I've gone ahead and I've opened up Microsoft Power BI so we can talk about what a Galaxy schema actually is. And I've generated some fake data. So I'm going to go get data. And then I'm going to go to text and CSV. Right. And then I'm going to go down to wherever I generated this data which should be in this file somewhere. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to import all this data. So here we go, open. And we'll just kind of keep on importing this data over and over. Be right back. And just like that, through the power of editing, I am back and I've added all of the data that's related to our marketing system data. And as you can see, we have a singular fact table, a date table, a product table and a campaign table. And this is pretty much a perfect star schema for Microsoft Power BI to consume. There is just one problem. I have a dimension table over here called store. And then the business person that's asked me to build this report also wants me to bring in my fact sales data. Now, when I go ahead and I load this, I now have two fact tables instead of just one. This is no longer a singular star schema, but it is now what is called a galaxy schema. Now, a galaxy schema is also known as a fact consolation schema, depending on where you learned data modeling. It's essentially this approach where you take multiple fact tables and they share dimension tables. So you use the dimension tables to filter down the fact tables. The fact tables are never actually connected to each other via a relationship. Each fact table represents a star schema on its own. So here I just brought over this fact marketing. If I then bring over this fact sales and right click and then go add related tables, here's my fact sales star schema. So as you can see, they stand alone as their own star schemas, but they're part of this larger analytics based data model and hence the term galaxy, right? Because get it, there's multiple stars in a galaxy, but why would you do this? Well, there's a few different reasons, mainly when you have a more complex business process. So there's often times where you have a business process where you have data coming in from multiple systems and you need to combine that data for multiple systems. This is an approach that handles this really well. Now, I want to know, have you tried this in any of your own Microsoft Power BI reports? Are you a star schema uh, for life kind of person? Let me know down in the video comments. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. We are almost to 2,900 subscribers, just 50 more to go. So I really appreciate you joining me for this journey. All right, cool. Talk to you later. Bye.